the one level, the one mission I always hate in Jack 2 is where, oh, god damn it, now why didn't, why did you just not jump? Why did you just let go like, you know what, this is it. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. Hey, it's part three of Uncharted Drake's Fortune. How is everybody doing? Please let me know. I want to know. I need to know. <clears throat> if you guys didn't know, um, I keep a list of your names, and uh, it like it has all your names on it, and it's it's called the list of how everybody's doing, and I I write down next to your name how you're doing because you, you're supposed to tell me. So, if you, uh, say, hey, like, if your name is, like, uh, Robert, and you say, oh, I'm doing good, and then I write your name Robert, and I say, oh, he's doing, I write down that he's, right, that he's doing good, and I date it, too, so, when I ask you again in a later Let's Play, I, um, I give you an update, so I write a new, a new, a new date, and I'll say, oh, well, on this date, he's doing bad, so I write, Robert's doing bad on November 17th, or what have you, he's doing real bad, and, uh, I'm not sure how this benefits me, or how it benefits you in any way, shape, or form. In fact, it's really kind of weird, so... Um, maybe it's something I'll stop doing. I guess I'll stop doing it now, but still tell me how you're doing. Anyway, we're... Uh, I mean, I'm getting my ass kicked on easy, which is weird. Um, what, are we, what, what are we gonna talk about? I, I'll tell you what I want to talk about right now. This is my... Still the same session that I've been doing for part one and two of Uncharted, so... It's been all one string, as you know. And, uh, to date this video, oh, I should use my shotgun, um, it's like, what, is it November 12th right now? And, um, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm sad, stressed, and nervous. And I'll tell you why. Um, because in a week, a bunch of games are coming out, and I'm not, I'm not fucking lying to you when I say it legitimately stresses me out and worries me when a lot of big releases come out like in a very short amount of time like it like it sucks like I really don't like it um because I, I want enough I want enough time to be able to play all of them I'm, I'm not lying like I this is really like always a concern for me when this much shit comes out like I I want to have the time to play everything and I don't honestly think I will I mean I will but it's like it's like why did they all have to come out like that close together you know like can I have time to fully complete one game, then fully go to the other one, then go to the other one? I like having a bunch of free time to just totally dip myself into one game. And I it bugs the shit out of me having like four or five major retail games like in my possession and I can't get to them in a sort of orderly fashion, you know? Like I'm just I'm fucking weird like that. I'm OCD. Um you know, a lot of people like to always carelessly throw around the word OC, like the the term OCD and the condition. But I would assume that's def. Oh, come on, really? I would assume that's definitely sort of like legitimate. Like I, that really bugs the shit out of me. Am I still in the same spot? But just that guy was dead. Yeah, he was like right here, but now he's gone. Even though I died from his grenade. Oh, I guess that works out for me. Yeah. So, um. Since, since I gave you the date, you should be able to figure out what's coming out. Uh, Grand Theft Auto V PlayStation 4 is coming out. You all know, big Grand Theft Auto fan. Big, 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 big. And GTA V PS4 looks unbelievably awesome. I mean, yeah, I've played it already. I've platinum GTA V, actually. So, um, it's arguable that I don't need to get to that right away, which, truthfully, I don't. But I do love Grand Theft Auto so much, and that version of the game does look really good. Like, Rockstar, like, seems to have put, like, a shitload into, into that game. Like, they did, like... That's like a full-on sort of, like, not remaster, but, like, they really put a lot of shit... Like, that's not just, like, a... That's not just a frame rate bump. Like, that's... They put a lot into it. What am I doing? Where, why am I... What, what... Where am I going? What am I doing? I just came from here, so that's not where I'm supposed to go. I, I obviously have to go on these ledges. This way? No? God damn it. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Up here? This is probably going to happen a lot for Uncharted. I'm sorry. I apologize. I can't go up there. 
because there's clearly nothing there. Um, fucking, I don't know, man. It's like diagonal. How the hell am I supposed to get over there? What, really? Okay, well, that's weird. I would not have expected that I could jump on that. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, I'm there now, so. And yeah, it's not just like a resolution and frame rate bump. Like, that game looks really, really, really good. Like, they added so much extra texture detail and everything, and obviously there's the first person view. So I'm really pumped about that. And then there's Little Big Planet 3, which, you know, big PlayStation exclusive. I love that franchise. Um,. I want to review it. I'm not going to review like GTA 5 PS4 because uh, it's I don't know like it's it's GTA 5. It's just it's just better. There's no really reason to review it. Like it's just better. Like, there's no reason to not there's no reason to not want those things. They're all nice. They're all good. And assuming it performs well, like, it's also the fact I would review it if I had the time. It's just like one of those things where it's like it's definitely not worth it considering I don't have as much free time as I used to. So. But Little Big, Planet, Little Big Planet 3 is one of those games where it's like, yeah, I'm totally going to review that because that's like a big PlayStation exclusive. And, oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm dead. Um, it's a big major retail release, a big major PS4 release. It's a big Sony exclusive. Like, I usually definitely want to try and review all of those whenever they come out, which is every, every so often. So, oh, dude, I love the shotgun, man. Just blows them, just blows them just out of the fucking water. They're just gone. Um, and then the big, 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 big one for me, uh, which is just as big as GTA Five, pretty much, um, is Pokemon Omega Ruby and uh, 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 Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I'm a big Pokemon fan. You all know this. I love that franchise to death. I mean. It's, it's a big one. Like, it's right next to Jack and Daxter and Grand Theft Auto. It's in my top three, basically. Um, I've poured thousands of hours into those games. Like, I, when I say I've caught them all, I legitimately have caught them all over the span of all the games. Coliseum, XD, I've transferred over. I've got Pokemon over, like, ten years old at this point that I've transferred from all these games. It's crazy, so... I'm super excited for that. And with those games, I need, like, 500 hours, which I'm definitely not going to be able to spend 500 hours with those games. And like I was mentioning in other Let's Plays, I'm disappointed that I haven't been able to play Pokemon X and Y as much. Um, it's almost depressing that I haven't been able to spend that much time, because I, I used to spend so many hours playing those games. And the reason why I have not been able to play those the Pokemon games as much anymore is not only because of, like, work, like, I work a lot now, but because of this YouTube channel. Like, I started it about two years ago now. Yeah, I think over two years ago. And um, this channel has required me to play a lot of PlayStation stuff. Like, And I, I, I mostly do play PlayStation stuff, so it works out. But it's to the point where... I don't get to play as much multi-platform stuff anymore, or, or not multi-platform, other platform stuff anymore. I don't play nearly as much Nintendo stuff as I used to. Um, I hardly fucking get to play Xbox anymore. Um, you know, and playing maybe a Steam game once or twice a year is, I, I'll be lucky if I get to do that. Um, so, I, like, with Pokemon, like, I haven't been able to play a whole lot of X and Y, because I was, like, reviewing a bunch of PlayStation games, or trying to, you know, stay up to date with, like, PlayStation news, and, um, playing recent demos, and downloading Plus games, and just kind of staying within that ecosystem to be as knowledgeable as I am on the topics and everything. Why, where am I supposed to go? Oh, there's that ledge, obviously. Why am I not seeing that? It's so obvious. So, with that on top, with the channel on top of, like, like working more hours, like, I just, it sucks, man. The last Nintendo game I played was, uh, Kirby on 3DS. And that was, like, that was a few months ago already. <coughs> and they just announced Majora's Mask, and I would love to get that for 3DS. But I'm probably just not gonna have time to play that. But you know what? It's gotten to the point where it has become a big issue for me that I haven't had this much time to play these games. 
that I'm like really kind of looking into how I could find more time to do it. Which is why like pre-recording these let's plays is like a big thing for me. Like, I'm th like thankfully none no, none of you like give a shit or like have complained about it. But for me, like that's a big thing. I love that I can pre-record these and get, you know, three weeks of let's plays filmed ahead of time. So it gives me more time to do other stuff. Let's talk PlayStation like I have to do that night, because that's news-based. Um, reviews happen whenever games happen, and I hardly, you know, the amount of reviews I get out nowadays is so low. You guys know I, I barely do reviews anymore, and I'm sure you would like me to do more reviews, and I would love to do more reviews. <coughs> but I can't. Um... I mean, it's, and not to be, uh, the, you know, I, I stay very humble with this channel, and I stay very humble with my, the numbers I receive and everything, and I, I'm not one of those cocky people on YouTube who says, like this video, subscribe, or, you know, it really helps me out, or it really supports me, or blah, 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 or follow me on Twitter, my Instagram, and Facebook, I, you know, you all know I'm not that fucking asshole, but, um, I will be up front and say, like, if my reviews had, like, a shitload of views, like, if they got, like, way more views and I earned, more like, more revenue off of it, because you all know, obviously, I turn ads on for these videos, like, pretty much 99% of the other YouTubers do, we all earn a little bit of income from this. If I had way more views on the reviews, then I could prioritize that over my actual other job, because people do do YouTube for a living. Um, now, I don't do YouTube for a living. It's an extra income for me, and it's a very nice, awesome extra income. But I kept, I definitely can't justify it over this new high-paying job I got. At least not now. <laughs> so, but I like, yeah, I would love to do more reviews, man. I love them. I love doing reviews. But, and the, and the thing about re the review videos is they're the hardest video to do on this channel. Review videos are, in fact, the hardest thing to <coughs> record, edit, and upload. Because I go full-on with when I do review videos. I, um... You know, I write a script for them. I uh, I do voiceover work, and then I record like two hours of footage, and then I do all those quick cuts that are allocated to the voiceover work that I did, um, and then I do the score at the end. I really put a lot of work into them, so it's really hard to do a bunch of reviews, and people ask for a bunch of reviews. This is the plane that crashed earlier. And uh, we want to get back in there and get s get some of our shit and fuck these guys up because there's a lot of them. I'm going to try to stealth. I don't remember if you can stealth in Drake's Fortune, but I'm going to try it. Yeah, I don't think you can. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't remember. I don't remember you being able to, so I'm just going to assume you can't. I hope that hits somebody. Can't hit one guy. I'll take it. Why does it keep shifting that? I'm not clicking R3 or L3 at all. L3 shifts his movement. I'm not doing that. I'm not clicking that. Fuck. Fucking stay down, dude. Oh, shit. Dude, I'm playing on easy. Come on, man. Oh, god damn it. Fuck. Oh, by the way, that was my knuckles. I just cracked. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Dude, I fucking love cracking knuckles. This is so good. Oh, wait. What am I thinking, dude? I can just kill a bunch of these dudes. I just used the six axis right there, by the way. And now uh, that grenade was useless. You know what? I'm going to die on purpose so I can kill all those guys. Kill all these guys. Oh, dude, they jacked me up. You see that? Okay, I'm going to try and do it for real. Fuck. How'd you see me? That's bullshit. Alright, fuck it. Just do this quick and easy. See, now when I focus, shit gets done. Maybe, maybe not, because I'm on the verge of dying. Don't you dare throw that grenade. Thought he was about to throw a grenade. Looked like he was gonna. Didn't it? Agree with me. I shot that dude in the leg. That six axis rumble, though. Dual Shock 3, man. Remember that? Just 6 axis. No fucking. No rumble. And Sony made rumble controllers. And that was back when Phil Harrison, who worked at Sony at the time, was like, oh yeah, that's last gen tech. It was because of a lawsuit. 
so they just decided not to put Rumble in the DualShock 3. And they, well, they didn't call it a DualShock 3, they called it a 6 axis. That was some good shit. Doesn't look good. I remember I would have friends over and they would play with my... Because I imported a DualShock 3 because it came into... A du the DualShock 3s came to Japan first. And I was like, fuck that, I want Rumble now. So I imported one and I would have friends come over and play. And they would touch my DualShock 3 and be like, wow, this weighs... This is heavy as shit. Because the 6 axes are so light because there's no Rumble in it. I get Elena now. That's what I was going to talk about. Holy shit, I just remembered it. Right. Remember in part two where I was like, oh, I was going to tell you guys something, but I forgot. I actually remembered it just now. Um, so remember the scene uh, in part two where they, uh, the dude shoots uh, Sully and you think Sully's dead and Drake says like, oh, like Sully's dead. Um, I find that scene interesting because like it's one of those things where from a developer standpoint you develop one game and then you develop a sequel and you go back and play this game and you think well that scene should have been a lot more heavier emotionally don't you think <laughs> because Sully's such a big part of Drake's life and you know in Uncharted 3 there's that um not to like spoil anything but uh okay we'll spoil it for Uncharted 3 um <coughs> there's a uh, in the beginning section of that game you play as young Drake and you first meet Sully, and it's like this kind of really sort of, I don't know, it's kind of this moment, you know? And it shows that Drake and Sully have a kind of a, like a deep history, and they are really close to each other. And then another spoiler alert. Sorry, spo like total spoiler alert. So if you really do not want to like know about Uncharted 3, then stop listening. Or skip ahead a few minutes. But, um, you know, there's that part in Uncharted 3 near the end where... You think, uh, you think Sully died. And Drake gets really emotional and freaks out and goes crazy. And then, so what I'm saying is you go and play Uncharted 1, and you look at that scene, and you think, wow, that, that scene should have been a lot more heavier, actually, because you actually, for a second, believe that Sully's dead, but the, you know, they just kind of brush it off, like, oh, like, Sully's dead, like, we gotta get out of here, and because the develop, you know, the, from the player's point of view, you've only, you only know, shit, shit, fuck! God damn it! From the player's point of view, you only know you've only known Sully for like, you know, for like an hour, not even. So you really don't care that much, and therefore the you know, Naughty Dog didn't make it such a crazy type of scene. So I just find that interesting, because uh, yeah, even from their creative perspective, they do make more games, and they understand that Sully is a a big. <clears throat> a big character to the, to the player at that point, so therefore they can pull off a scene like that. But then again, it's arguable that they could have done it here anyway, because the first time... Oh, I forgot that. Oh, I, actually, I do remember that. Um, I do got fucked up. Uh, like the opening to The Last of Us, obviously. <clears throat> the first ten minutes of The Last of Us uh, will tell you that they can definitely pull off some emotional bliss that early in the end of the game, but... You get you get what I'm saying. You get what I was uh you get what I was going for. You were picking up what I was laying down. You see where I was driving at. <laughs> see all these things I'm saying? They're things that are about you getting what I'm getting. You getting it? Oh, Gotta pick it up at eleven. Eleven o'clock. It's at your local post office. Get there before they open. I can't fucking stand by by the way, I can't fucking stand when I get something delivered and it wow, I shot the guy right in the head and he was just like, Oh, what was that? Uh, I can't stand when I get something delivered and it doesn't actually get delivered and they just leave a note on my um, door that says, oh, it's at the post office. Like, come pick it up. And they won't, like, re-deliver or something. Or I missed all the re-deliveries and I, st I just had... Oh, shit! Well, that's that's something. I have to... And I have to go pick it up. I... I... Ugh, I hate that. 
And the reason why I hate it is because the post office closes, like, much earlier. Oh, jeez, I'm disgusting. I'm burping. Much earlier than, like, a usual, like, store would. Like, it's, they close at, like, what, 5 p.m. or some shit? Holy shit, dude. That was, like, a rocket launcher. Can't believe I'm dying this quickly and easy. Um, let's see if the headshot will kill this guy this time. Okay, he actually died. Good. Um, yeah, it closes way too early, and I can't, I can't do that. Like, you think I can put up with that? Hell no, I can't. Like, you, you, you all know I, I, I need my, I need my beauty sleep. There we go, that dude's finally dead. Ooh, right in the head. Not quite in the head for that guy. Another classic game where I'm getting 99% accuracy in total with all my weapon fire. I know you guys are impressed. You don't have to write it in the comments. Chill. Like, really. I, I'm flattered, but you just please stop. Because I, I don't need to log in every day and you tell me how good I am at games. And how accurate I am at, at aiming with guns. It's just, it's just how I... It's just my motor skills. Like, just... Just be happy that you're you're blessed with watching them. Wow. I, I really just be happy. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Oh my god, you know what that reminds me of? Because it, it's from something. That episode of Futurama where... I think it's the B episode where like they're stung by this... Uh, it's that thing where they go get honey and... Um, why am I totally blanking right now? And Fry gets stung by a bee and he like dies. So Leela gets really depressed or whatever. Because she thinks he died or something. And it's like a, it's, you know, it's that classic love story between Leela and Fry. That was like a really sad episode. That episode like made me feel things. And I just got really bummed out. Hope you all know what I'm talking about if you watched Futurama. Which you should, because like, it's a good show. I love Zoidberg. Some of my favorite Zoidberg quotes are... It's the episode where they're like underwater, because there was like an underwater... There was Atlantis, and uh, they were like walking around, and... A Zoidberg is... Uh, he found a shell to like live in. So he just walks over with this like shell, and he's like, Look at me! I'm Dr. Zoidberg! Homeowner! I love that part. And I love where Zoidberg's got a slinky... And he's, like, trying to rebuild it or something. Or, or was it Fry that had the Slinky? Somebody had a Slinky, and the Slinky was going down a bunch of books, and then it just burst into flame. <laughs> and whoever it was, they were just crying, like, Oh, God! Because they were trying to fix it because it was, like, broken or something. So they were trying to fix a... Oh, no! God damn it. So they were trying to fix a broken Slinky, and it just... Oh, huh, huh? Okay, yeah, fixed. And then this burst into flame like nope it's fucking done how do you can i set these off or just jump over them no i hit circle too how did i die what happens when you hit circle oh you just do that okay well that probably helped that's the move i was looking for yeah he's technically still going right through he's clipping through it actually oh yeah he's clipping right through it Oh, okay. Well, I didn't, I didn't activate that. Now, I know there's a puzzle coming up over here in this castle part. Totally not going to remember it. Uh, and I know because this is... Because the... I, I think I've played this game three times. Three or four times I've played this game. And every single time I got to the puzzle in this castle, I don't remember it. The fortress. Ah, oh, do I love it. I love it. Look at all these conveniently placed divots... That Drake can just get in and climb. I love this part too. This game was awesome. I just remember to, like the first time playing this game in 2007. I was just like, man, this fucking game is the tits. Like this game is fucking awesome. I'm thoroughly enjoying this let's play right now. I don't know about you, but I am really happy to be playing this game. I wonder if, uh, no, no, we're definitely not going to hit 50,000 by then. Because after this, we'll play we'll play a different game, obviously. And when we hit 50k, we will do Jack 2. We will do Jack 2, don't worry. And you'll see my awesome Jack 2 skills. I'm just kidding, they're still not that great. 
I'd say they're better than most regular Jack 2 players. Now, when I say Jack 2 players, I don't mean people that play Jack 2 as often as I do, because they're probably much better than me. I'm talking about somebody that does maybe one playthrough of Jack 2, because it's just a game to them, and they're just playing a regular game, and they're not, like, super in love with it like I am. I'm better than those people, because those people always experience how n notoriously difficult Jack 2 is, so I'm definitely better than those people, but I'm not better than other people that like Jack 2 as much as me. They're probably st still much better than me. But there's a lot of parts in that game you have to, like, constantly restart. The one th level, the one mission I always hate in Jack 2 is where, oh, god damn it, now why didn't, why did you just not jump? Why did you just let go, like, you know what, this is it. Um... The one level that always sucks in Jack 2 for me is where you're just coming back from visiting the Oracle, I think, in that slummy area with all the water, and that's where the... Well, I, he did it again. And it's it's that place where well, the Oracle's there. And I don't know if it's after you got a dark power or something, but... God damn it, Drake. What the fuck are you doing, man? But you 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 basically have to walk... Wow, what the living hell is going on? You basically have to um, just walk from the boardwalk. And uh, all these crimson guards spawn, and you have to carefully just walk over, like, just walk to shore. Uh, and it's like a. I, I hope I'm explaining this level right, this mission right. Like, I sound so damn stupid. But, um. Yeah, that mission was always a pain in the ass for me. And it's notorious for a lot of people. It sucks for a lot of people, that, that specific mission. Because there's so many fucking Crimson Guards that come. And they don't stop coming. So, it's a matter of making... Sh oh my god. Oh my god, Becky. It's a matter of care carefully balancing... I know what I have to do. It's a matter of carefully balancing your ammo and who to shoot at and when to progress and... Well, that's basically what it is, because they're, they're, they're just going to keep coming, so you have to really level it out as to when to actually move forward. Because if you just move forward and try and run through all of them, you're totally going to die. Because you can only take, like, four hits before you're dead in Jack 2. Let's try to not miss this this time. What the hell is going on? I, you know what, and I'm starting to realize this definitely happened to me in other playthroughs years ago. At that very part, too. It's starting to ring a bell. I don't have any patience anymore. Come on. Let's do this. It's almost the end of the Let's Play. We gotta get, we gotta get to something here. Something exciting. Something that's gonna give these people a bang for their no buck because they didn't pay for anything. Here, can I get lower? Maybe this will help. Wow, he's not even grabbing onto it, really. It's definitely not going to work. i got to be higher up, don't I? That's not going to work either. i got to make sure I get this right. If I don't get this right, I'm ending the Let's Play. And if I get this right, then we'll keep going, and then I'll stop it up there. So is not like a deal? Okay, it's a deal. Mm -hmm. ah, got it. Finally. Alright, let's just get up here. Ah, ah. There. Over there. And then... Through the door. Oh, look at this room. Oh, there's dudes out there. Ooh, what is... Ooh, I'll take that, Uzi. The micro, whatever the fuck. This is a very nice room to end this part of the Let's Play. So everybody, this is part three of Uncharted Drake's Fortune. You think it's Uncharted? It is Uncharted, but we're going to chart the living hell out of this. That reminds me of a really good story that I'm going to save for part four. So, uh, psh, I'll see you then.